Well, today we're going to come out here and do a little doctoring on Bella. She's got a snotty nose and don't know if she's going to end up turning into pneumonia or not. So we're going to try to cut it off ahead of time. We've got a little bit of medicine that we give sometimes. It's a shot of LA-200. It's an antibiotic. It's good for all kinds of stuff. So we're going to try to check her temperature today and see if we can listen to her, see how her lungs sound. So we ain't got to call the vet, but she's got an eye that's watering and her nose is kind of snotty. And so we're going to try to give her a few antibiotics before she gets any worse. She's not going to like this. All right, she's got a little bit of a fever. She's at 105. She should be around 102, 102.9. So she's got a little bit of a fever. So hopefully these antibiotics will kind of help that a little bit too. All right, well, she's got a shot. Her, um, her lungs and all sounded pretty clear. Didn't sound like there's anything raspy in there or nothing. So hopefully this shot will take care of it. Not that little bit of cold out that she's got. Like I say, she's not coughing or anything like that. She's just, uh, she's got a snotty nose and she's got one eye that's tearing up a little bit. But other than that, hopefully this shot will go ahead and take care of whatever it is and she'll be back on the feet in no time. Well, the last few days here on the homestead, it's been really hot. It's up into the 90s today, and um, I say, you know, I like to wear my... Yeah. <laughs> you like to wear his moo. Yeah. 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 Anyhow, it's getting hot here on the homestead. Like I say, today's up into the 90s, and it's getting really hot. I like to wear my cowboy hats outside when I'm doing stuff outside to keep the sun from beating down on me so bad. But, you know, I've, I got a hat from my friend Jose a while back around Christmas time, the gray felt that I've been wearing from American Hat Company. And that's a good hat and everything, but it's just still going hot this summer with it on. I've tried to wear it a time or two and it about, about switch it to death. So I got an old Stetson hat I've had about 20 years, and it's a good hat too, but it's felt and it don't have much ventilation in it either. So a few years ago, I went and bought a, a a palm leaf hat from a store and it's a pretty good hat too but no ventilation and it was really hot yesterday too 
So today I decided to give a call to my friend Jose at Golly's Hat Zone, where I got my other hat from, and talked to him. I said, hey, I need a good straw hat for this summertime that's got a lot of ventilation in it. He said, ride by and see me. So me and Ken both went this afternoon, saw him, and he hooked us up both with two Rodeo King hats. Tell you what, there's a lot of difference between this hat and my other hat. My other hat's a real good hat too, but it's just not good for summertime. Just got a lot of cross ventilation in the top, and I can tell a big difference already. So we just want to say thank you, Jose, for hooking us up. And if anybody is within 50, 100 miles of Smithfield, North Carolina, and they're looking a good hat, go see my friend Jose. I'll put all his information down in the description below with a link to his store. And uh, go by and give him, a, give him a visit, and uh, he'll fix you right up. Well, it's hot out here today, and the flies are so bad over here in Bella Stall. We're going to try to come in here today and go ahead and try to clean the shavings out. See if that makes a difference. Seems like the flies are not as bad in the other two stalls back there. So we're gonna clean these wood shavings out. That's the only difference we got between those stalls. See if that makes a difference for us. We've actually come in here and put some fly traps up trying to catch some flies. Doing a pretty good job, but they still hold a lot of flies in here. And even the fans we put up the other weekend, they're doing a good job, but it's just for some reason we can't get the flies out of this first stall. So we're gonna see what we can do today. We rode the track supply and we got a couple of these fly traps right here. And you can see it's catching a lot of flies. And um, it's kind of gross, but yeah, there's a bunch of flies in that trap right there. And we got another one hanging over in buck stall on that wall. And we got a couple of these silver sticks right here. But these fly traps, they don't do quite as good. I reckon I could hang them somewhere maybe other that post and it might do a little bit better. We're gonna try to go ahead and get these wood shavings out of here and see if that might make a difference. Okay, now we got all the wood shavings out of here. I don't know if it was moisture in the wood shavings that the flies were attracted to, or they seem like they're pretty dry, but that's the only thing I can think of because it's so dry here now. We haven't had rain in a right good little while. They're out of here now. We're gonna go back, well, for the first part, they're out. Um, the stall is dry and cleaned out. There's no poop in here. It's pretty dry. Um, we're gonna go back and get a little bit of hay for it to lay on if she wants to, and uh, if she wants to eat a little bit, that's fine. She is drinking water already, which is kind of surprising. But you can see she's up a little bit now. That eye's still watering a little bit. We're gonna keep a check on that, make sure her nose stays clean, and hopefully she don't need another shot. So we're gonna kind of keep eye on her, see how she does. Well, Elsie's fitting right in with her new stall. Um, Ernie, he's still mad about it. He can't go back in there anymore and lay around like he was doing. But Elsie likes it pretty good. She's got her fresh hay there. She's already eating some feed. Got a water bucket over there. So she's pretty much set. This stall here is a little bit bigger than what she was in. So she'll have room to run around and grow a little bit better. And uh, like I say, she's tickled to death to be in here. Ernie, on the other hand, he's not so happy. I guess I have a hot spot. 
Yeah. Oh, Ernie's trying to take over Buck's stall. Uh, he stays in here with Buck quite a bit. So we decided we throw some hay in here for him a while ago. He's he's still not quite sure about the girls and Elmo yet. He's still much smaller than they are. He's he still ain't quite sure yet, but. When it's not feeding time, him and Elmo are pretty good buddies. They hang around together a lot. Buck hang around with him a whole lot too, so he's gonna do okay. He's gonna get more used to things as the weeks go on. He can't find it yet. He thinks it's in the trough. There's Elmo, he's looking for something else to eat. All the hay outside's been taken up, so he always comes back and checks the barn one more time before he goes out to the pasture. Well, he don't know he is, is we got Ernie some hay laying right there behind Kim. Oh, wait a minute, he's found it, he's found it, Never mind. We ain't gonna let him, we ain't gonna let him get it though. We're gonna save that for Ernie. Get back now. All right, y'all, look out. Look out, Betsy. Look out. Look out, George. Look out, Elmo. Now we'll get you being out of the way. Easy there. Hey Betsy, you gonna shake at me today? See, everything's good, everything's fine. Hey old Molly. Come on Genevieve and George, I'll get you some hay. Come on. Let me get them a little bit of hay out. There's y'all some hay, y'all have at it. Y'all probably want some too. We'll give you a quick update on Bella here. You know, uh, it's been a couple of days. We gave you that shot of LA 200 because she had a little snotty nose and we a little bit of a fever. Well, uh, here just a couple of days later. She's, uh, she's nursing her bottle pretty decent now. She don't have any more snot in her nose. Her nose is cleared up. She's looking pretty good. She's actually up running around and moving a lot more. Before she was just kind of laying around a whole lot unless we made her drink. But uh, right now she's getting up. She's not like she's feeling a whole lot better. So uh, we're just going to keep feeding her and seeing how she gets. Elmo and Ernie.
What are you doing? Where am I? Ooh, stop licking me. Oh yeah, they got enough. At least till tomorrow. At least till tomorrow. At least till tomorrow. Hey Rooster, what you doing? Come here, buddy. Well, that's going to wrap it up again for another video with us. We Again, we appreciate you joining us. And thank you for all the likes and subscribes and the comments that you leave every week. We really appreciate it. I've got some more projects in the works and uh, just got to get time lined up to get them done. I uh, still need to tear down the old chicken coop, do a few more things. But uh, come back and join us again next time and we'll kind of go from there. Thanks again. Say bye, stupid dog. Bye, Abby. Say bye. <laughs>